the map. Datapath.io sends performance-related test data to all internet network prefixes. Then, data is collected and displayed within the network optimization map. As we take a look at the map, you can see global latency measurements. The map feature is a great tool to get an overview of possible optimization. You have the ability to see latency measurements for different regions from different providers. From this drop-down menu, you can select different regions. This allows you to zoom in to see the latency measurements for an individual city. The setup. Here's the dashboard you set up with your Datapath I.O. account. First step is connecting your cloud provider. Second step is adding the physical connection between AWS or your cloud provider and Datapath I.O. Lastly, add instances and assign elastic IPs. Now we will discuss defining rules. Rules. Here you can define rules for your performance constraints. For example, if we want to keep latency below 11 milliseconds for traffic to Germany, we create a rule. The process is as follows. 1. We go to create a rule. 2. We give our rule a name. 3. Assign an elastic IP. 4. We choose a destination. 5. We input the performance constraint. Here we can see the rules that we have already defined. The rule we already set up indicates that Datapath IO will now fulfill your performance constraint. Traffic to Germany will be sent over routes which have a latency below 11 milliseconds. Reports. Now we are going to look at the reports section. In reports, we can follow the progress of our rules. Here we see the progress of the rule for traffic delivery to Germany with a latency of lower than 11 milliseconds. As you can see, the blue line representing Datapath IO is delivering traffic at almost 60% lower latency as compared to other transit providers. Additional performance constraints for bandwidth and cost will be available later this year.